morning good morning good morning Facebook friends family neighbors colleagues good morning good morning daily dose I don't know what episode we're in but good morning we're in rant mode we're in rant mode good morning let me know you're here pop it down I know takes a moment or two to warm up the Facebook lives Good morning to you. Inspired today. Fired up today. Excited about the day. Rant mode is fully on. Get ready. (laughs) This is an encouraging post, just so you know. So I'm not here to to BMW your life, bitch, moan, and whine. (laughs) That's not me. But I am going to hopefully fire you up. So if you're coming on here... Even if you're catching it live, hit me live down below. Say hello, good morning to you, or good morning to me. Just say good morning. Happy day, happy Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. I'm inspired, I'm encouraged, and I'm fired up. I'm fired up. How are you going to fuel yourself? How are you going to feed yourself in 2021? How best to feed yourself in 2021? 21. The year is here. It's a new year, right? Oh, it's just another day. Just another number, (laughs) right? Another year is going by. So how are you going to feed yourself this year? That's my question to you. You want to have an amazing 2021. You're going to have to feed yourself the right way. Now I can tell you, I don't always. Let's just talk about food. Now we're not going to just talk about food. We're going to talk about Lots of different ways to feed yourself. But one of the things I know when I don't eat, now it tastes good going down, right? <laughs> when, I, when I feed myself the delicious treats, right? <laughs> the candies and the chocolates or maybe the, the fried food. And trust me, I'm not a, I'm no, no perfect. <laughs> My diet is not perfect. But when I eat those things, they taste so good. Oh, like I crave them, right? I, I crave them. And then guess what? I feel like crap after. I feel terrible after. Oh, like that good feeling goes away like almost instantaneously. It's kind of like the hit you get when you get on social media and you see who liked your stuff and loved it. And it's those little, <clears throat> those little sensors that go off to say, feed me more, feed me more, feed me more, right? And that's the problem. But here's the thing. You can use it to good. You can feed yourself good things. You can actually make 2021 now, I, I, I hate to say this because I know it's been a rough year. 2020 has been a really hard year for a whole lot of people. And I totally understand that. I've seen it. I've been around it. And I'm going to tell you this, and it's not to brag, but I want to share with you. 2020, for a lot of ways, has been my best year ever. Now, I know we don't want to even think about 2020. Like, there's so many things that went wrong and so much, like frustration and maybe broken friendships and you know families that torn apart and all that I totally get it totally get it. I'm not gonna discount that but I want to share with you how it was my best year ever in three areas three areas in my business I've had my best year ever I've been in this industry for 25 years in the health and fitness space and 2020 has been my best year ever let's just move on from there spiritually It's been a struggle, but I'll tell you what, I've never felt the need for God in my life more than now, ever, ever. I feel like when we're in desperate need of faith, like when we're in desperate need of God, we tend to, if you're a believer, even if you're not, tend to want to draw close to him, right? Especially if you don't have the answers and Lord knows I don't have the answers. And then relationally, I was telling you is it's been hard. It's been a hard season with family members all around and all that stuff. But it's been also like this, this year of growth where I see my kids. I have a 15 year old and 17 year old. And this is a perfect no, no. But I'll tell you what, fueling yourself with the right things can make 2021 like it did for me, 2020, my best year ever. And you're like, oh, Mark, you just got it easy. You're at the beach. You, you're you know, you have it easy. You can do videos all day long and all this stuff. Trust me, it is not all that easy. I have been busting my ASS for a long time behind the scenes. Nobody sees what goes on behind the scenes, right? You only see the highlight reel, right? What you post on here. 
And trust me, there is, while there might 2020 may have some highlight reel, it was a hard year, but I busted my butt. And you know what I did? I fueled myself. I fed myself the things that I knew I could control, things that I knew could make me better this year. How did I make my business? How was my business the best in 2020? Well, I focused on it. I focused on that. How is it that I'm not all stressed out about what's going on in the world and the news and coronavirus and all those things? Hold me. Hold on a sec. I got to switch hands here. Give me one moment because I'm in, I'm in the mode here and I got the dog with me. All right, here we go. All right, so here we go. So how is it that you're not all stressed out and worried and anxious and all that? Because I didn't focus on it because I have not been focusing on that. Am I like oblivious to it and the world is coming to an end? Well, I am concerned. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I'm not concerned. I'm just saying that I know if I focus on the things that I know I don't have any control over, it's going to take me away from focusing on the things that I can. And the focus for me in this year, in 2021, is to have the best year ever. I want to fuel myself and I want you to. This is my rant is you want 2021 to be the best year of your life, truly the best year of life. It might not be easy, but it can truly be the best year of your life. And you know how you're going to do it? I'm gonna tell you right now. You're going to do it by feeding yourself. Listen, what do you do when you get up in the morning, right? We scroll through, why is it called a feed? I heard this in a, uh, in a, um, uh, a pastor talk about this. Uh, I was last weekend, I think it was, or two weekends ago, I can't remember but in a service, in talking about feed, right? Feeding yourself. Are you scrolling through and feeding yourself negativity? Feeding yourself? Are you surrounding yourself with people who are just bringing you down and pulling you down and having nothing but negativity in this world and in their lives and doom and gloom and all that? Hey, that might be the case, right? But are you gonna focus on that? I guarantee you. 2021, you don't wanna do a reassessment? Go ahead and write down the stuff that you focused on in 2020. What'd you focus on? You focus on what the world's doing. You focus on the news every day. Like we talk about this. I even asked a while back about stress. And it was the ones who seemed to be watching the news all the time. But Mark, I mean, Mark, how are you not watching the news? It's like, I can't believe it. Like all these things going on. And this person aggravated me. And this person is, and I'm so frustrated. And so here's the, here's the reality with problems. Here's the reality with anger and frustration. The anger you have, the frustration you have, the disappointment you have, the discouragement you have, the stress you have is yours, is yours. And you can own it and claim it and live in it and let it seep inside of you. Or you can fuel yourself. You can feed yourself with good news. You can feed yourself a healthy meal. You can feed yourself by taking care of yourself. You can feed yourself by focusing on your family. You can also feed good things in your mind. You can feed good things in your body. You can feed your ability to move and exercise and take a good walk and go for a stroll on the beach with your dog and you can take away, you can remove some of those things that are just feeding you nothing but things to pull you down. The enemy wants to attack you now more than ever. And I wanna tell you, if 2020 sucked and it probably, maybe you lost your job, maybe you had a relationship that just kinda, un, that fell apart, maybe, you had anxiety and stress going into 2020 and all of a sudden everything shut down and it got worse. And you know what? That's the truth. Like that happens. That's a reality. But I'm going to ask you this. If you're struggling with those things, what are you doing to help feed yourself with the other things, right? It's still there. Don't get me wrong. I know that there's stuff going on right now in this world that's hard to handle. But guess what? I know there's a whole lot of other things in my world, just as it is in your world, that you can control. You can control what time you get up in the morning. You can control how you feed your eyes. You can control how you feed your ears, what goes in your ears, what you hear, who you listen to. You can control, well, maybe not, and I struggle with that sometimes too, what comes out of your mouth, right? Here's the thing, in this world right now, the one thing you can do to succeed and how to Feed yourself this year. Feed things that are going to make your heart soft, not hard. Feed the things that are going to make your body strong, not weak. Feed yourself. Put things in your mind that are going to be encouraging. Maybe this daily dose has been encouraging for you. Maybe going to church or watching 
services or getting in a, a, a Bible study or maybe even opening up the Bible in the morning or having some quiet time with God to feed yourself with things that are going to truly fill you. The problem is when we fill ourselves with things that are not good for us, guess what? We keep going back for it and keep going back for it and it becomes addictive, like food, right? Think about what we talked about earlier, the food. The food that actually tastes really good, right? Negativity tastes really good, but it leaves you empty. It doesn't leave you satisfied. It's why you go back for more. Like a good, good chocolate bar or a good piece of pizza, guess what? It tastes really, really good and I can taste it right now. But guess what? As soon as I'm done with that pizza, it goes right away. But I can tell you, when you start to fuel yourself with healthy food, when you start to take good care of your body, take good care of your mind, take good care of your spiritual health, I'll tell you what, there's nothing quite like it. It's food that can fuel, fuel you. So what kind of food? I want to know what kind of food are you going to fuel yourself with in 2021? Are you going to continue to watch the news and let it take you down? Are you going to continue to follow friends who are spewing nothing but negativity? And I don't care who, what side of the... <laughs> what side of the politics you're on, whether you're accepting the negativity or spewing the negativity at the end of the day, what you put in your body, what you fill in your mind, what goes in your ears, what you look at, what you speak, what you allow people to speak to you, what you allow people to show you is going to be how you either win or lose 2021. And I want to know right now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to claim it. Do you want to win 2021? Are you gonna fuel yourself? Are you going to feed yourself with good food? Or are you gonna feed yourself with the crap that's all available and readily accessible for everyone? Good food or crap? I wanna know, post it down below. Are you gonna feed yourself with good food? You say good food, just comment, good food? Or are you gonna feed yourself with crap? Your option, one or two, take it or leave it. Take care, have a blessed day. We'll see you soon.